Keep your nose out of Grown Up Matters or experience a world of pain. All right, here we go. And there is Giovanni. What's in here? A Chansey? Please don't tell me this. I just ran into the, I just lost the playthrough. I, I forgot that I, I didn't mean to battle this trainer. I just, I just threw the playthrough. I need to do some EV training is really what this comes down to. Uh, we need to do a, a lot of EV training. So let's just get it started. I mean, that's that's really it. So I'm gonna start, <clears throat> I'm gonna start with Miss Magius. And I'm gonna, I, I've decided, I, I was kind of brainstorming before the, before the stream. So let me give you guys kind of my rundown of what we're gonna bring. Uh, I'm gonna bring a uh, physically defensive Blastoise with Rain Dish. I'm gonna bring a physically defensive Corsola. Uh, uh, Charty Berry, pseudo offensive Gyarados. Uh, offensive Azumarill, like bulky offensive Azumarill. Max special defense, Umbreon. This is gonna be the deal with Pulte, guys. And then uh, I'm gonna bring Miss Magius. And I have kind of a, this is where you gotta get creative. My Miss Magius set is gonna be max defense, max speed. Uh, it's, this is where, like I said, you get kind of creative. So anyway, if you, if you catch this after the fact, on YouTube, show some love, hit that like button, subscribe if you guys are new. Let's start the EV training process, um, and let's just get it going, man. We gotta get, gotta get Wicked EV trained, and I'm a little rusty, so it'll take me a minute to kind of get sorted again, but I think I can get this all sorted, so. Let's go wipe those stats on Blastoise. Blastoise is gonna be max HP, max defense. Going very bulky, very bulky here. Uh, we get rid of our attacks, 163, I mis misclicked there, but. All right, so 153, so we'll reduce that. You have, uh, HP and defense. So that's what we're focusing on. How much money do I have? 23,000. We may need to grind money for what I want to do. Um, we may have to. I'm probably gonna have to because how much is it to bottle cap a stat? It's 75 grand. I think it's 75 grand to bottle cap a stat, if I'm not mistaken. Max defense, Miss Magius. And you can see from the team why I'm doing that. It allows me to, to, to wall and we're gonna give it Will-O-Wisp as well. Um, it's really to slow down Garchomp and also slow down Kangaskhan. And if I have max speed, I actually outspeed both of them. And I can uh, Will-O-Wisp them and generally switch in for free is kind of my thought process. Is it gonna go as well as I planned? I have no idea, but uh, we're gonna certainly give it a shot and uh, we'll be good to go. I gotta go steal some nuggets, I think is our probably our best play. Look at this box power. We have a really good box, dude. That's one of the things, um, that's one of the things that I feel really confident in in our playthrough is that we have an incredible PC right now. And if there's one thing that keeps me like feeling like this could be the run is this, we have just a top tier PC. Max defense, Miss Magius. Yeah, well, listen, you gotta, you gotta get creative. I think that for me, um, uh, this is my specialty, baby. Like, this kind of style and this kind of play and this kind of preparation is exactly right up my alley. Um, I've done Draft League Pokemon for longer than probably anyone on YouTube for the most part. Um, and this is basically Draft League Pokemon, but against the computer. That's that's what it is. Like it really, it's really Draft League Pokemon. So I'm loving it. This chat, I am gonna put you guys in emote only mode. All right. So, enjoy the emotes, enjoy the battle. One of the mods can do it or I'll do it. Emote only, I'm going for it. And we're doing it live. I wanna see you guys cheering me on. Let's get it, what's up, Lottes? A drive, so we meet again. The president and I are discussing a vital business proposition. Keep your nose out of grown up matters or experience a world of pain. All right, here we go. And there is Giovanni. Now, I expect him to click Stealth Rocks turn one. That would be my guess. I'm gonna click Rain Dance and kind of force him out of the battle, I think. I hope he just Earthquakes me, honestly. Like, please just Earthquake me. He goes for Stealth Rocks. Okay, as expected, as expected. All right, so now, now I click Rapid Spin. I, if he goes Poltegeist here though, I'm gonna be really annoyed. Would he do that? No, I get the Rapid Spin off. I'm assuming he's gonna Roar here. Please Earthquake me. I would be so happy if he did that. He Earthquakes, oh my God, that's actually really good. That's actually incredible. That did so much more than I thought it was gonna do. It's max attack, that's why. All right, well listen, I get rain dish and I get uh, leftovers. So that allows me to take multiple of these hits. This is gonna do a lot. This is rain boost and scald, so it's gonna do a lot. I wonder if he, I don't get the KO. 
He goes for Roar. He roars me out. Not Umbreon? Gyarados. Okay. Well, I have a, a very si interesting situation here. I think I click Aqua Fang. I mean, I could try to Dragon Dance, but then he could have Stealth Rocks up. Let's think about this. If I Dragon Dance and he doesn't roar me, because his only attack to hit me would be Rock Slide, I could potentially sweep if I get a Dragon Dance off. But if he roars me out or switches, it puts me in a weird spot. I, I, I generally shy away from going with the big play for the win, especially with Focus Sash Excadrill. So I'm gonna take my KO here. I win the Weather War at this point, so that's all good news. Let's see what comes in. I kinda want Kang to come in. It's gonna be Excadrill. So I'm gonna stay in for one hit and I'm gonna click Aqua Fang. He Swords Dances. All right, he's gonna be sitting at plus two. I get an Aqua Fang off and that's gonna knock him down to Focus Sash. Okay, now I have to make a decision if the only concern is if I forgot to put the Charty Berry on him or I get flinched. That's really the concern here. So I'm gonna Aqua Fang. He does go for the Rock Slide and he misses the Rock Slide! Let's go! We get rid of two Mons right out the gate. The Blastoise strategy coming in. The Excadrill's gone. Two of the biggest threats off the field right now. Now I'm anticipating a fake out here. I'm anticipating a fake out. I'm gonna go into Wicked. My whole plan here was to go into Wicked against Kangaskhan and burn him. He's gonna fake out, doesn't do anything. And now I'm faster and I can burn him. And I hit the Will-O-Wisp, baby! He can crunch me, but I am max physical defense, max speed, and he is burned. That does not do very much at all. He does get a defense drop, though, which means I gotta switch out. That's okay, though, because I, I kind of planned for this, and it's not even a big deal. I kind of like going Poseidon, getting attack drop, and then going into Gooberstein when he goes for, like, a body slam or something, and then I can start to, start to chip away that way. So he goes for the crunch, as expected. And that's good. He takes very little damage. He gets a defense drop on that as well. Go figure. But that's okay. Now our play is I think I just go Goob. Who do I want to make sure I have for Garchomp more? I think I want to keep Wicked healthier for Garchomp. Yeah, I think I go Gooberstein here because he's going to want a Body Slam or Power Up Punch. And I just do not want to allow that. I think I Ice Beam in case of a switch. Curse Body activates. He can't stay in against me. He can't stay in. He is forced to switch. He can't touch me. If Curse Body actually works, he can no longer touch me. The question is, what do I do in response to this potential free turn I have here of him either going into Garchomp or going into Poltegeist? I kind of want to click Will-O-Wisp, to be honest. He stays in- oh, okay, so Curse Body is bugged in this game. That's what someone said earlier. We now have 1 million percent confirmation it is definitely bugged because that shouldn't have done anything. But that's okay. Not a big deal. I think Poseidon here is really solid. Just go right back into Poseidon, get another Intimidate off. I'm gonna play this very slow, very smart. I'm gonna go back in a goob, I'm gonna hit a strength sap, get my HP back. And I know it's easy to say like, oh, just set up with Gyarados right now. And like, yes, I could set up with Gyarados right now, but I run the risk of a body slam para. I run the risk of him getting up power up punches and potentially being able to start to steamroll that way. And also the Garchomp has a Yachi Berry. So I need to go plus three on Dragon Dance to be able to hit that, that Garchomp. So I'm gonna play the smart strats here. I'm gonna play the defensive strats that I, I know I have here and that I can take advantage of. So we see the damage on a crit again, about 30 HP, very, very minimal, and then one damage, but he does get a defense drop on that one, but I'm not that concerned. Okay, that was a crit, that did nothing. So I Strength Sap and then I switch out. He gets another defense drop, and let's see how much I get back from this, because he is very low um, attack now. So this may not be a lot of heals. That's the only downside. Oh my god, Gooberstein, you are not, it's not even fair, Goob. It's not even fair what you do to people. I'm, I'm trying to think of what's my best positioning. It's probably me going, I like Poseidon coming out, but I'm not sure that's the play. I do like going Azu, because then I have Aqua Jet pressure and it forces Poltegeist out. And I would rather Garchomp be last, I think. I'm gonna go Squiggly, I'm gonna go Squiggly. He's gonna switch out the Kang at like no health. And go Poltegeist! Okay, now I have to make a very difficult decision. I think I just take the take the KO in front of me and just click liquidation. Hopefully he shell smashes. He does Giga Drain. That was kind of what I expected. Should do about 40%, 30 to 5, 35, 40%. He crit me. He didn't crit me. Wow, that did way more than I thought it was gonna do. Okay. This this KOs though. Okay. Alright, who's coming out? Kang or it's Garchomp? Okay, so I I pretty much have to assume he's gonna go 
I think he either, I think he has to earthquake here. So I'm gonna go Poseidon, predicting an earthquake here. He earthquakes, best case scenario. Okay, now I think he swords dances or he clicks rock slide. I can live, I still have my berry, right? I do still have my berry. I think I stay in and just Ice Fang, to be honest, at this point, because he's negative one now. And I can get a nice Ice Fang off on him, deal some massive damage. I think I go for the Ice Fang. He goes for the Swords Dance. He is now plus one attack. I need to not miss this. I'll take a freeze right now. Take a freeze. Nice crit. <laughs> Yo! Okay, we're not out of the woods yet. Not out of the woods yet. Gooberstein is my switch. He's still frozen. All right, I can take a plus one. I can take a plus one. We ice beam. Let's go! That's it. That's game. We beat Giovanni. No deaths, baby. That's what I'm talking about. This is the run, bro. The luck is on our side, squad. The luck is on our side. Y'all can turn emote only off, team. We're good. We're good. We're safe. We're safe. Kang is the only thing left. It's burned. It dies in one attack. I'm not worried. We're good. Even a crit doesn't beat us. Let's go, A-Drop Army. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. Eat that out, Goob. Eat that out, baby. Eat that out, baby. Let's go. Let's go. Flawless execution. You love to see it. I know you guys love to see it. Honestly, I don't think the freeze mattered. He was going to go for Rock Slide there or Scale Shot. I think Goob was taking it no problem. He was only plus one attack. Goob is absurdly bulky. I still had Azumarill with Aqua Jet. If he had a minus one defense on his, his Garchomp, Aqua Jet does knock him out at that range. So I was feeling pretty good about that. So we do take down Giovanni. And uh, thank you so much, Gio, for the battle. Thank you, Sarah, for the love. And uh, we're going to get the Master Ball from the Presidente. Very nice. And uh, I think someone's about to give me a... Uh, I think you get the Mega Ring now, but I don't know when they give that to you. Woo, baby, I know you guys are hyped about that. I know you guys are hyped about that. I don't think there's any more trainers in here. All right, let me heal and let me just look through the rest of Self Code just so I don't miss anything. Cause like I said, I, I didn't like explore the whole thing. There's still Pokeballs and stuff. What's in here? A Chansey? Please don't tell me this. I just ran into the, I just lost the playthrough. I, I forgot that I, I didn't mean to battle this trainer. I just I just threw the playthrough. <sighs> Everything was so going so good, dude, and I I I I didn't realize this was a trainer. I forgot that this trainer was here. I just accidentally talked to them, not thinking anything of it, and I have to do the battle now, and we're gonna get wrecked. We're gonna get wrecked. I don't have the team for this. I don't have the team for this. I'll do what I can, guys. At least it's not super overleveled. I'm gonna do everything I can, guys. Um, I don't I don't like our chances, though. I'm gonna be real. I don't like our chances. Give me another burn. Give me another burn. I can't believe this, bro. I legit can't believe I just did this. I can't believe I just did this, bro. Like, legit. I, I, I can't believe I just did this. This has been the run, bro. Like, we have been crushing it, and I legitimately accidentally ran into this trainer. I didn't know this was the kid. I'm not giving up yet. I'm not giving up yet, but I clearly am not prepared for this. Give me a burn. Give me a burn. Luca, give me a burn. What happened? I just beat the Giovanni, and I accidentally engaged with a really difficult trainer in this game. And now I'm in a really bad spot. Because I have to battle this trainer with the team that I have, and I'm not prepared to actually battle it right now. He's gonna hit me with a... I don't know if I can live a hurricane now. I don't have a single switch in, man. My whole team is special, bro. I got a legit click ice beam here. Luca's gonna take a hurricane to the face and get absolutely wrecked right now. I need to freeze. I can't believe this. I can't believe that this just happened. I legit can't believe this just happened. Oh, he hits me with a crit confusion, bro. You gotta love that. He crit confusions me. I think I gotta let him go down. I think I gotta let him go down. At this point, guys, we're trying to save the playthrough. This is my fault. I gotta let him go down. Bro, I, I'm so salty right now. Everything on this run has gone so well. And then I run into a trainer that I didn't even realize was a trainer, bro. Like, this is the dumbest way for this to get messed up. The dumbest way for this to get messed up. This thing is gonna do so much damage right now. You're about to watch, like, the, you're about to watch, like, the stupidest amount of damage in a, in a second. You're about to watch like the dumbest amount of damage you've ever seen. Like I'm not even, you're about to see just stupid damage. This is minus one 
Dude, what a stupid way to lose, bro. If I lose because I get outplayed, it's one thing, but to lose because of this, bro, like, that's just such a dumb way to lose, man. That's just the dumbest way to lose, bro. I don't even think he stays in. Oh, he does. Okay. All right, if I can get through this with four mons somehow, like, there's still hope, but I, I'm just that, that, he's got a frost moth too. Like, this is ridiculous. Oh, he's got, okay, Curse Body works in this situation. Maybe Goob can carry us. Maybe Goob can carry us, dude. I don't know. Maybe Goob can carry us. He's gonna set up Stealth Rocks, I feel like. If he sets up Stealth Rocks, then I can't send in Poseidon anymore. I'm predicting the, I'm predicting the, um, the Stealth Rock here. Flip turns. He's gonna go Pelipper now. He gets up the rain. I don't get the free boost here. I actually don't even think I'm faster than Pelipper. I don't think I'm faster than Pelipper, but I don't think I have a choice. I think I have to stay in. I don't think I'm faster. I think Pelipper's faster than me. But I don't have a choice. I can't I can't switch anything in because if I do, I mean maybe Wicked comes in and I save Poseidon for the intimidate. You're faster? I'm not faster. It's max speed Pelipper. I have no speed investment. I'm not gonna be faster than a max speed Pelipper. No confusion, please. Come Swamper. Scissor. He's 100% bullet punching. All right, there is a, there is an out. There is an out. There's an out. It's not a good out, but I have one. Going to Mega Swamper, bro. Going to Mega Swamper. He's gonna go into regular Swamper, and that's like worst case. I think he's just gonna U-turn again. Okay, I got rid of this. Go scissor. He's just gonna U-turn again. Yep. I need the big Swamper to come out, not the Frost Moth, but he's not gonna bring out the Swamper. Yeah, he goes Frost Moth. I need rain to end. Rain stops. Ice Beam. All right, it comes down to this. Does he? Well, let me actually calc. I'm gonna run a calc. Don't confuse me. Don't confuse me, bro. Don't crit. Oh no, the run, the run. No! That's the game. We lost the run. Oh, I snap out. Lovely, I need a super crit. Yeah, this is frustrating as heck, bro. This is frustrating as heck, bro. I, I can't believe it, man, I really can't. Um, I don't think there's any way I live at this point. I don't think anyone th anyone's living anything. I think my best bet is Gooberstein maybe living an attack. I, I didn't even mean to battle this battle, dude. I didn't even mean to battle the battle. Like, that's the thing that frustrates me the most. I wasn't even trying to battle this battle. It was an accident. Um, I mean, may, there's still a chance if he goes Swampert here. I mean, if he goes Scissor here. If Scissor comes out, there's still a chance. If Scissor comes out, there's still a chance. If he goes Scissor, there's still a chance. All right, there's a chance. You turn There's still a chance, bro. There's still a chance, there's still a chance. So let me explain for those who didn't know, I just beat Giovanni, things were going great. I went to explore some of the town. I accidentally ran into a trainer that I did not mean to run into. That trainer is this trainer right here, and I did not prepare for this trainer. Like, I was not ready for them at all. I had the team for Giovanni, and it's my own fault. It's, it's no one else to blame but myself. It is my fault, 100%. Um, but I genuinely had no idea. Like, I didn't realize. I knew that this character was in this town from the time I played Radical Red before, but I did not realize that this was the trainer, and I didn't realize that as soon as I talked to them, I wouldn't have a chance to change anything. But the reality of it is, uh, that's that's the right play there. Um, the reality of it is, I just there just wasn't anything I could do. This is considered a boss battle, yes. And this is one of the harder boss battles for sure. So, well, the good news is I think Gooberstein can solo the, the run here. I think Gooberstein can actually win it for us. 
I do. Um, and we could potentially stay in it. I'm gonna click Willow again. If I hit this burn, I think we can win this for sure. The good news is Goober scene and you know, our team gets beat up, uh, but that was not, yeah. Oh man. Well, he said if to him you like mudkips. If you said to him you like mudkips, he doesn't battle you. Well, I didn't know that, bro. I had no idea. So, um, I think I clicked nightshade. He's, they're just gonna flip turn out. But now they're both um, they're both burned. So Goob should be able to wall him. Reset due to a technicality. Nope. There's no resets, guys. This Nuzlocke is a live hardcore Nuzlocke. There's no resets. There's no do-overs. There's no oops, I messed up. There's no accidents. There's none of that. The reality of it is, I made the wrong play. I did not, you know, do the right thing. It's my fault. I'm the one who has to deal with it. That's that's all it is. He's gonna flip turn out to scissor anyway. I think I just, yeah, I think we just get the. It's my own fault. I could have beat this. I could have beat this trainer with no losses. But honestly, the fact that I, the fact that I just beat this trainer, and I only lost half my team without any preparation at all, that's incredible. Losing Azu is big because Azu was actually part of my strategy to to deal with. Um, to battle against um, what's what's it called, Sabrina? So that's a really big loss. That's a massive loss, actually. But we got through it. I'll take it. Listen, it is what it is. I'll take it. I get a you get a static Mudkip here. Uh, most recent sub gets to name it. Jack the boy calls it Kip. All right, so we're gonna name it Kip. So we do have a Mudkip now. We're gonna name it Kip. Hopefully Mudkip can take the place of some of the Mons that we just lost. And we're gonna name you Kip. I plan to take on Sabrina today, so let's let's start planning for that and let's just get it get it together. I have no idea which way to go. I'm just kind of guessing, so don't mind me. I don't know the path. I'm I'm assuming I'm just gonna stumble into Sabrina at some point here. Okay, well then. <laughs> oh, I'm so scared. Okay, well listen, you guys know the plan. You guys know what I'm planning to do. Steely Spirit boost the power. The Steel type moves used by a Pokemon with this ability and its allies will see a power boost of 50%. All right. Alrighty. This is all this is all about action reaction, baby, so let's do it. I had a vision of your arrival. I had had psychic power since I was a child. It started when a spoon I carelessly tossed bent. I dislike battling, but if you wish, I will show you my powers. I prefer fighting in the double style. Are you ready? No. Let's begin. Let's do it. Cake and dubs, baby, cake and dubs. I hope you like cake. I really like the strategy. I hope it works. Iron Head, Hatterene. Knock off Indeedee. Indeedee's fastest, so it goes for expanding force. It's like best case scenario, honestly. It should KO because it's Steely Spirit. And it does! It's a good start. Knock off should do a lot of damage. I don't know if it KOs, but it's gonna do a lot. It KOs! Okay. A okay with that. And Crawdon! I did not want to see Conkelder and Crawdon on the field at the same time. That is what I did not want to see on the field at the same time. Okay. So, what do I want to do with the Metagross slot? I'm assuming the Metagross, I assume a dark type move hits that slot. So I think the play here is you switch out into Gyarados to get the Intimidate. You U-turn Berserker into Crawdon, and you go into Slowbro. That is what I think is the play. Then I have Gyarados and Slowbro on the field, and presumably like a relatively decent scenario. That double Intimidate is really nice. I should be faster. With dubs because there's no like they're negative speed natures. Well, that's unfortunate. Now I gotta go dopey to take a potential fighting move from the the conk who drain punches. I just need this high roll. I just need this high roll. I'm going for it. Please get the KO. I think we're gonna just miss it. What did I say? What did I say? The dominoes are falling. Full para. Oh! Bro, that was the biggest full para of all time. Oh my god. I think I protect Poseidon and Psychic Crawdon or Conkelder. I got lucky. I made the absolute wrong play. I could have had a double KO, but honestly, it's fine because we got better positioning. It goes Gardevoir now. Oh, I thought you were gonna go. Oh boy. Okay, it's fine. I don't I don't see any world where in, there is a world where he actually drain punches me though. He could drain punch that slot. I don't think he does. This is a big risk. I think I go for it though. Alright, so I think I heavy slam Gardevoir. And then I gotta switch out 
Dopey into something. I don't know what I'm switching out into, though. I don't have a switch in. Uh, actually, I could protect Dopey if I wanted to. I think that's the play. I think we heavy slam the Gardevoir. Hope I get the KO. I think it does. I think that Snorlax one-shots this thing. I really do. Please don't kill Kingpin. Please don't kill Kingpin. Attack Dopey, attack Dopey. Okay. Not of the woods yet. Okay, that's good damage. Mystical Fire drops his special attack. I think I hammer arm, but I want to iron head because of the chance of the flinch. He trick rooms, fine. And he doesn't have his terrain anymore. Now I hammer arm. This frustrates me so much because I think I just beat Sabrina with no feints, and that is stupid insane. And I'm annoyed that I, I lost lives to Mudkip Kid because this would be like such a stupid, powerful run. I mean, I just have to get over the Mudkip Kid situation, but I just want to say like we are we are doing some amazing things right now on this run, and I'm super stoked about it. So let's keep it rocking. Just beat Sabrina with no deaths, team. Let's go. You can turn off the emotes or turn off emote only. Let's go, baby. Let's go. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about, A Drive Army. That's it, baby. Dusted off my old VGC shoes, and let me tell you. This right here changes the entire team. We now have Trick Room. Insane, bro. Because my team is a very, very good Trick Room team. I have a lot of Trick Room love. I have a lot of Trick Room love on my team. We can actually get Gardevoir right, but that's it. Sabrina is one of the easiest gym leaders, bro. You have no idea what you're talking about. How could you say that? That's one of the easiest. That's stupid strong. Oh my god. Wow, the whole team made it, squad. Let's get it. Celebration. We, re we really have a stupid strong Trick Room team, guys. Like, think about the Trick Room possibilities. Reuniclus, Sprinkles, Porygon 2, Slowbro, Malamar, Snorlax, Perserk. Like, dude, my Trick Room mode, my Beware, Beware, dude. My Trick Room mode is dumb. I have a very good Trick Room mode on this team.